Hello friends, this is Rosa with Everybody Acro, and this is your weekend reading for April 11th and 12th. Now I'm a little tired today because I spent almost all day trying to make masks, which was a catastrophic failure. So let's hope that the cards have something nice and easy for me today. And here they are. It's Seated Throne, Reverse Footishin, and Reverse Bird. Seated Throne. It says to me that everyone is stable, but alert, with their gaze to the future. In Seated Throne, you're really thinking about stacking the bones. From base to flyer, everything's connected right down through to the floor. Reverse Footishin. A lot of strength and determination and power and presence. The flyer and base can work together here to create stillness. The base pulling down through the core and locking out those legs so that they don't move, flexing the feet to give a nice purchase for the flyer. The flyer engages the inner thighs, the glutes, the core, and all the way up through the top of the head in one straight line. Reverse bird, it's telling me freedom and excitement, new ways to look at things. This is a fun one to get into from the ground. You stand at the base's head, facing the base, and the base pulls their legs up over their head until they meet the flyer's hips. It's time to take these poses and turn them into a flow. If you are able to try this flow out, please remember to use your best judgment and safety while flowing through transitions and poses. Well, it took me a little longer to get this flow together today, but here it is. Reverse bird, straddle bat, star, reverse foot to shin, outside reverse side star, high flying whale, and seated throne. I hope you have an amazing weekend. This is your friend in movement, Rosa, with Everybody Acro.